Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're gonna be going over the normal Monday weekly uh, material. Uh, now, before I start anything else, I do wanna let you guys know that they have released a notice letting you guys know that for any of you people that happen to live in Belgium, they have announced that they will make sure that all of you guys will be able to receive the Starlight for those of you who are able to get it. Even though that the Belgium version of the game will be ending within like about 30 days or so. This is what they have to say right here. Basically in a nutshell, they just state that they'll make sure that everybody who met the requirements in the X trace for the the mini games uh, they'll make sure that you get your codes before the app is no longer available so that way at the very least you guys can get your keyblades so if you happen to live in belgium i highly recommend that you complete the, the mini games as soon as possible preferably like today or tomorrow if possible uh, just to make sure you can help guarantee your copy of the new starlight keyblade that's going to be exclusive to kingdom Hearts 3 if you play union cross but aside from that, I want to give a quick recap as well from two days ago uh, about the Bambi, the fluffy Bambi uh, avatar boards that we got again, even though we just kind of got these somewhat recently. They do come with the attack boost 5, uh, attack boost 4, max engage 1, attack boost, I mean defense boost 4, and that's it. Uh, to be honest, you can skip this because the skills aren't that great at all whatsoever. Tech Boost 4 Max and Gauge 1 is the only actual really decent skill in this entire avatar board for each of them. And right now, Attack Boost 4 Max in general is kind of on the below average spectrum of the like attack skills. Uh, right now, Attack Boost 5 Max is like the average uh, and anything above that is above average or spectacular. Next up is VIP, we are getting the golden ticket just like usual, on top of the new Taya Xehanort B medal, along with 1400 extra jewels. Uh, in case you're not aware, Terran Xehanort B is literally just the power reverse version of other medals such as like the Key Art 18 and the World Ends With You Art 3 medal for VIP that we got previous weeks. It's the exact same thing, just the power reverse version. Uh, now frankly, these medals are really good, and for those of you that don't have any of those like of these three medals uh, but and you're willing to spend some money on the game I I honestly highly recommend getting the Terra Xehanort B medal if you don't already have at least the key R18 or the world ends with you R3 just a brief recap on what it does so in case anybody's not aware uh, it deals three hits and for its own attack only its own attack it completely maxes out all of its buffs and debuffs solely for itself okay so no matter what slot it is you can have this metal on slot one and it will be just fine it will have all of its buffs and debuffs um, and it does more damage with one enemy or zero parts left for raid bosses and it provides plus 10 enemy counters okay and that's on Honestly, quite the huge part. It's also a single target, uh, zero cost metal, I should probably add, whose multiplier is actually not that bad. It's not the strongest multiplier, but it's it's up there. It's like, it's one of the strongest metals in the game at the moment, uh, which is worth saying. But other than that, just like usual in VIP, we're getting the Magic Brooms and Magic Mirrors. I've already expressed my thoughts about this as, as well as the uh, the Gems deal multiple times already on this channel. They suck, okay? For a VIP deal, they really need to increase these because uh, they're not worth it at all whatsoever. Um, I'm starting to get at the point where I'm just skipping VIP now uh, just because of the fact that VIP is just not worth it. I I'm pretty much going to be getting VIP Primarily for medals these days now uh, just to at least guarantee my copies of medals and and not anything else next up for this week We are receiving the divine rose boosters keyblade boosters for Union Cross uh, as well as some Mushroom accessories like this one right here. That's on the head it doesn't provide any perks as far as I'm aware So it's honestly not that important although I always highly recommend trying complete Union Cross uh, whenever possible just because it is free jewels and free stuff and like I'm not going to complain about free stuff um, Although what I will say is that the divine rose boosters you basically need to get these uh, For two reasons one it is going to be for this week's PvP As well as the fact that for the Marluxia organization 13 event that we're going to be receiving tomorrow um, Or today first if you happen to be watching it the day after 
Uh, as far as I'm aware, the only Keyblade you're allowed to use against Marluxia for, for the Organization 13 event is the Divine Rose. So I highly recommend doing Union Cross, getting your Divine Rose boosters as soon as possible to help you out with the event. Aside from that, last but not least, we are receiving a new weekly raid event. It's basically the same type of thing we've been having recently uh, with the past raid events. They only show up during bonus hours and then they last 24 hours on the weekends. But anyways, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.